Hey, welcome to the Master Tech Lou channel. I am Lou. Today I'm going over a 2017 Ferrari F488, if I say that correctly. Uh, I haven't worked on too many Ferraris. So friends of mine bought this car about a year ago and they've been tracking it. And as soon as they bought it, they took it off the trailer and they drove it. And they noticed that when they turned the wheel, there's a rubbing noise. They thought it was just because there's an aftermarket uh, front clip on here with some carbon fiber pieces or whatnot. Uh, but upon closer inspection, here's what I found. The tires that were installed on the front were way too big for the car and they were actually rubbing the body. Look at that where it's wearing the coating down to the metal. See how shiny that metal is? Same thing here, it wore right, th right through the uh, wheel liner and into the body and it was eating the tire up. Look at that. It was on both fronts. Here's the other side. Eight right through, right to the sheet metal, all right? Now, since then, we've already replaced the tires with the correct size. So these are the right sizes that are on there. But the killer part about this is you're talking about a car that is almost a quarter of a million dollars that was from a Ferrari dealer, and it was inspected and certified by the dealer for everything to be hunky-dory. Did that look hunky-dory to you? It did not. Now, this car was... Uh, transported from California all the way to Illinois. And what are you gonna do, right? They like had the car for quite a few months. Uh, they got it in winter time and didn't really get a chance to drive it a whole lot till spring, summertime. And then when we got to looking at it to figure out what was actually going on, by the time you'd call the dealer, what are they gonna say? As is, sorry, buddy. Uh, so it's kind of upsetting that you would spend that amount of coin on a beautiful, gorgeous car like this to race it and track it. And you have a very, uh, bad, unsafe issue. That tire could have overheated, it could have popped, it could have blown. Uh, bad things could have happened. And this came from a Ferrari dealership. So it doesn't matter what kind of shop a car comes from. People have got to do better at looking at this stuff, man. Uh, so the customer has the right tires on there now and they're going to track it and they're safe. But it's amazing that you would think a Ferrari dealer, right? Like you think Ferrari, you think top of the line. People are still involved and people make mistakes. So this is kind of upsetting that they wouldn't have looked at the sticker on the door jam to check the actual tire size and put the right ones on the car. You can't be playing with tire sizes on certain cars. They have to be what they have to be, you know, or do your homework to know if you've got to uh, be able, or if you can add wheel spacers or different rims or whatnot. But uh, I don't know if these are factory rims. I, I don't think they are. The, well, actually, I almost guarantee they're not. But uh, the fact that they put the rims on there and just chose a tire size, ah, that's not safe, man. Um, so it's good to go. I'm taking it over so they can take it to the track for Daytona this weekend. But uh, just wanted to share some things that I find in, in these cars that it never surprises me anymore. The things you see, no matter what car brand, whether it be a Toyota or whether it be a Ferrari or whether it be a Porsche or a Mercedes behind me, things happen man so uh if you have any kind of noises going on in your car or things that don't seem right have it inspected because you never know how unsafe it can be and safety is number one for everybody i want you guys to live a long happy luxurious life so i uh, hope you i don't know hope you enjoyed this little snippet here but uh, i just wanted to share this because i found it and it kind of upset me and I, I don't like seeing this kind of thing but uh you guys take care